All right, take a good look at this picture. Can you tell what all these young ladies have in common? Everyone is a leader in the making. And with us today, the founder of Ladies Learning to Lead, uh, Samantha Vance, and also Bethany Chandler, who's one of those up and coming leaders. So welcome to you too. Thanks for coming in today. We appreciate it. Thanks for Thank having you. us. All right, good. Well, Samantha, tell me a little bit about, uh, about this group, uh, Ladies Learning to Lead L3, I guess is what you call it. What was the inspiration for this? What was the spark for you? Wow, that's a good question. The spark for me was, that uh, it was something that I needed when I was growing up. And it's something that all girls need, some, some place to go and learn interviewing skills, preparing for college, preparing for their careers, and have mentors and people to talk to them who look like them in the future. Right, and right. so for me, it was really uh, necessary for them uh, to have something. And then I uh, partnered with uh, Representative Alan Williams and, and we made it all happen. So I'm That's happy to do it. That's fantastic. Well, so uh, we have somebody here who is a part of that group, uh, Bethany. And uh, Bethany, you, how long have you been uh, taking part in the uh, Ladies Learning to Lead? This is going on my fourth year. Your fourth year? Okay, yes, so sir. you've been involved and you're, you're all in apparently, right? Yes. So, <laughs> well, what, what's, uh, what's the thing that, uh, I mean, I know you probably went into this group thinking, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> if this is for me or not. What convinced you this is for me? The whole atmosphere. When you first enter into those buildings at Southgate, it's a beautiful atmosphere. Hmm. It's a whole panhandle of girls from Florida. And even I interconnect with people that I never knew before. And we all just come together and we have a good time. We don't yeah. know who we're sitting by. But at the end of the day, we know who we're sitting by. You do. By. You made some yeah. new friends mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, who knows, future, uh, future co-workers or yes. who knows what, you know. You serve in the legislature one day next to mm -hmm. some of these people. So, well, that is really a cool thing. Now, you've got uh, something coming up uh, uh, very soon, Samantha, which is, uh, I guess, this weekend, tomorrow, right? Yes, it's actually uh, today. We have our sixth <laughs> annual. Today. It's today. Okay. So we are in full prep <laughs> mode. Yes, we have our sixth annual leadership conference, which starts today and tomorrow. It's at the uh, FSU Center for Leadership and Social Change. And the girls stay overnight at Southgate Dorm, so they get the full college experience. Exactly. And then um, tomorrow, we'll be closing out the conference with a community leadership forum, where girls serve on the panel as the experts telling everyone in the community what is important to them <laughs> and how we can better serve them. Well, that so. sounds great. Well, i got to ask Bethany while she's here right now. Um, what is something you wish uh, us old folks or older <laughs> folks knew about you guys, about, about the, the girls, uh, the young ladies in our community? That we try so hard. Mm -hmm. We try and we try to do our best in everything. I have friends, they try their best in the school. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a thing where it's for one person, but it's not for everyone, like college. Right. And right. we want um, people to understand that even if we do take the college way, Sometimes it doesn't always work out in the best. Right, right. So and I think a lot of us are a little too critical of, of young people these days too, and you know what's wrong with them? You know, why can't mm -hmm. they? You know, do what they should do and that kind of thing. But I, I think it's good to remember that that uh, those young people are trying out there, yeah. trying their best many times, and uh, so we got to cut them some slack and yes. learn from them. So, yes. well, we got some information we can put up uh, as we're talking about. Now, for the people who are going to stay overnight, I imagine that's pretty much closed out uh, for the for the ladies. Yes, it do is. That. For tomorrow's mm -hmm. thing, uh, it's open. Is that right? To just yes. Many? Yes, it's open to the public, and we're asking community leaders, educators, parents to come on out, and even girls okay. to come on out and hear from our girls. All right, we've got some information we can put up on the screen right now. If you'd like information, info at l3ladies.org or call them at 445-3144. Thanks, ladies, for coming out. Thank today. you for having Thanks. us. Good to meet you guys. Okay. Nice. We'll be right back.